The Sky's Not the Limit Written by Guardian of the Night Read by Drat Keegan VA Other voice actor appearances Speedy Tempo, Speedy Sketch, and Sweet Song The sky has always been my favorite part of the world The sunlight parting through the clouds at sunset or sunrise The beautiful moonlight at midnight and the beautiful feeling I get when I fly. I named my daughter after it for a reason. Mom, Mom, I'm back! She cried as she ran into the yard after school that day. It was that time of day where the sun has almost set, and you get a warm, fuzzy feeling if you step outside and watch the torching heat of the sun go down to the simple coolness of night. Sky didn't know about her wings then. Neither did I. (laughs) <laughs> it's almost time for your doctor's appointment, so go on and get your escort. She ran into the house and flew up the stairs to her small room. Although it was just about the smallest room she had ever seen, Sky loved it. I sat on the porch and looked out over the lake. Our house was on the waterfront. Sky enjoyed that, too. In fact, she loved the water more than anything else. Her wings were hardly ever used. It was about 10 minutes until she got back down. We walked to the doctor's office. Now that I think about it, she hardly ever flew. What? No, no, I I want a second opinion. I'm afraid it's the truth. We tested her four times, miss. Make her replacements. Use your magic. Do something! The doctor only shook her head. There is no cure. Physical, magical, or medical. With this, I became frantic and started to cry. (sighs) Sky was my world. I had long dreamt of teaching her how to fly and taking her on nightly outings in Cloudsdale of teaching her the basics and letting her learn about life, of maybe making her a wonderbolt for Faust's sake. But all I ever had was gone, and that was Skye. Congratulations, it's a filly. I held Skye in my arms. I held her close. I never wanted to lose her. Soren sat at my bedside. He stared at Skye with loving eyes. Sky was important to me. She was a part of me. If Sky would die, then a part of me would too. The nurse brought me into Sky's room. Her bright purple eyes glowed with fear. What did they say, Mommy? What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect. Then how come... I stopped her with a hug. Come on, wanna go home and eat dinner? Maybe we can swim in the lake afterwards. I picked up Skye and flew her home without another word to her or the nurse. Three long, torturous days passed for me. For Skye, it was the best three days of her life. And the last. I had a big plan for that day. As soon as she was awake, I told her what we were going to do. She reluctantly agreed. Ready? I said, turning to her. She put her goggles on her eyes. I was born ready. I took her hoof and started to fly upwards. She followed me. The clouds increased in the early daylight sky as we descended further and further into the atmosphere. The sweet feeling of being suspended in the air was one I loved and hoped it was one Sky would never forget, wherever she went. Soren, I have something to tell you. I looked at the ground, or rather, the ponies below. We sat on a cloud. Tell me anything. I'm here. He said, his green eyes locking with mine. I picked at my mane. I... Do you you remember remember when when you you came came over to my house and and we were were drunk drunk and you... you... Soren blushed. Yeah? Why? 
I... I'm... Well, I, I went to the doctor yesterday. Oh. Soren was obviously clueless. I... I couldn't keep it in any longer. Uh, I'm, I'm three, three months, months pregnant. pregnant. Soren sighed. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. So Soren was not surprised by the news. But it was my turn to be surprised, whether or not Soren was or not. How, how did you know? It's, it's obvious, obvious something like that would happen. We, you know, do that often. He looked down. But I'm happy for us. For you. For me, even. I get to be a father. Faust, I didn't even think that would ever happen. He nuzzled me, and I nuzzled back. He turned it into a sweet, soft kiss. When we pulled away, I gave him a smile. This is why I picked him to be my cult friend. We were ascending faster now, reaching the end of the clouds. Suddenly I stopped. So did Sky. I landed on a cloud and set Sky down on it next to me. She started to cry. <laughs> Mommy, my wings are... I know, Sky. Just lie down next to me and try to sleep. Sky didn't protest. She snuggled up to me and her eyelids slowly closed. I knew they were never going to open again. With my world gone, I have nothing to live for. As I step to the edge, as I'm writing this note, I hope someday I'll be remembered. Bring Sky down to the ground, Fluttershy, and bury her. You'll know what I'm talking about when I say she's on viewpoint. If she's still alive, Scootaloo can take great care of her. They can fend for themselves. I had to do this. I'm going to miss you all, Rainbow Dash. Twilight closed the letter. They all bowed their heads down in respect, all of them shedding silent tears. The element of loyalty was gone forever.